Hey everybody, it is Wednesday the 12th and I have not filmed anything yet this week. So, surprise, here we are. Hey, how you doing? How you been? Um, I have many, many books to talk about. I should have filmed on Monday, but anyway, I didn't. So there you go. So today I have, I've read a bunch of books. I've read a bunch of books. Um, excuse the flapping of the camera. My hand is shaky tonight. So, um, on Sunday, I read, uh, or no, not Sunday, Saturday. On Saturday, in sprints, I read uh, The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi by Shannon Chakraborty. Um, so good. Oh my God, it was so good. Um, yeah, that was real good. It was real good. Um, so I read that, and I'll talk more about these um, in my wrap up video. Uh, next week, week after, something like that. Um, I'll have a wrap-up video coming up and I'll talk more about these, but Amina al Sarafi was excellent. Excellent. Um, what next? Mm, okay. All the rest of the reading that I've done this month, um, has been for, um, the Nostalgia Readathon. I've read, brace yourself for this, I read Volume 1 of the New Rainbow Bright comic. I read The Great Gilly Hopkins. I read a Babysitter's Club book called Babysitter's Beware. I read a Sweet Valley High book called Double Love. I read a book called Angel and Hannah. And I read Shel Silverstein's A Light in the Attic. I finished that this evening. So, I've been busy. Um, I can't really crow a lot about it because most of these books are real short. Like Sweet Valley High, um, you know, Great Gilly Hopkins, Babysitter's Club. These are all middle grades, you know that kind of thing. So, you know, stuff that we read in middle school. And like I read Sweet Valley High, that Sweet Valley High book, I checked it out from the open library and my checkout lasted an hour and I finished it in my checkout. I didn't have to check it back out again. So, you know, and that was, what was that? That was Tuesday morning. So yesterday that I read that. Um, and then I read Angel and Hannah last night in sprints. Um, and not put my face right in the camera. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, room's a mess. I have to excuse my mess. Um, so yeah, I've done a lot of reading. I've got um, one, two, three, four more squares. Um, on the bingo board before I have a total blackout. And I have, I think I have books for all four of them. I think I have books for all four of them. Cause like one of them is a sci-fi book and I picked up, um, an X-Files book. And one of them was a book with witches and I picked up a Goosebumps book. Um, one of them is a 90s horror author, which I thought the Goosebumps book would, would count for that. But the Goosebumps book that I picked is a recent one, so I'm going to have to pick up something else uh, for 90s horror author. And then the last one Oh, a book with an element on the cover. That's the last one that I have to figure out what I'm going to... And that's the only one that I don't know what I'm going to do for that one yet. So I'm going to have to do some Googling, see what I can find. Um... So yeah, um, that's where I'm at. Um, I've done a lot, a lot of reading this last week. So um, I should have been doing a lot, a lot of vlogging, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what I've got. So I'm going to go to bed. Mm -hmm, go to bed. And... Um, I'll probably do some more reading tomorrow afternoon after I get off of work. Um, but yeah, there we go. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey everybody, it's Friday the 14th. Um, I didn't, hello cat. Um, I didn't film anything yesterday cause I didn't have anything really to talk about. Um, it was just work all day and I didn't read anything. So, eh, you know, whatever. Um, but today, 
I did some reading. Um, got up this morning and read um, The Curse of Camp Cold Lake, uh, which is one of the original Goosebumps books. And so I read that. Um, it was cute. Um, uh, ghosts um, at a summer camp. So that was cute. Um, I never really read the Goosebumps books when I was a kid. Um, by the time they first came out, because I think they came out, what? When did this first one come out? Uh, Curse of Camp Cold Lake came out 1997. So I'd already graduated high school by the time the Goosebumps books were coming out. Um, so they were too young for me. Um, I... <laughs> I was one of those kids that's very conscious of age and, well, that's too, that's for babies or that's for little kids. I'm not a little kid. Whatever. Um, I missed out on a lot because of that. Um, but anyway, so I read uh, The Curse of Camp Cold Lake, um, read that one, and then I took a nap and then I played The Sims, like I do. Um, when I finished that... Um, I got into some sprints this evening with Princess and some others uh, on the Discord. And I read um, The Horrors of the Witch House, which is a Goosebumps comic. Um, five issue uh, volume of a comic that's about some kids that have to defeat a witch to save the world. Because she's trying to take over the world. Um, so that did that. Um... What else? After that, um, I read, because that only took me like 30 minutes. Um, it was not a long read. And then um, the next one that I picked up was uh, one of the Ramona Quimby books, Ramona and Her Father, which is the one, if you know Ramona, it's the one where her dad loses his job. And um, it's very real, very relatable. Um sort of average family with average problems. Um, it's uh, different from now, very different from now. It came out, uh, the Ramona books came out in the 70s. And you can really tell the difference in generations because um, the Quimby family in the 70s, um, it, things are tight, but they're able to make it on one person's salary. Whereas these days, if somebody, you know, if there was a two, two income home and one person lost their income, they'd be homeless. So, eh. Um, but anyway, no, it's very, very relatable, very real. Um, I missed Ramona. I forgot how much I loved Ramona. She's such a little pain. Um, such a little pain. Um, but, Yeah. I loved it. So that was that. I just finished reading that. And that leaves me with one more book for the Nostalgia Readathon. And I'll have a um, full blackout on the bingo card. So, and it's only the 14th. What will I do for the rest of the month? <laughs> Hey everybody, it is Saturday the 15th, and I want to start by saying I had chicken tikka masala today that blew my tiny mind. It was delicious. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, went to lunch with a friend of mine, uh, and we had uh, Indian food, and uh, oh my god, it was so delicious. It was so delicious. So good. Anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there and make you jealous. Um... So, uh, finished a book in sprints this morning, um, the X-Files, uh, tie-in novel called Skin. Uh, Ben Mesrich is the name of the author, if I remember calling correctly. Anyway, um, it was very good, nicely creepy, um, had some issues, but, I mean, they were, um, issues of the time, like, for example, um, a, uh, an Asian American individual being referred to as Amerasian which was very weird. Um, a couple of, um, a couple of writing ticks that kind of, eh. but overall I did go ahead and give it five stars because it was beat for beat. Everything I expect out of an X-Files episode it was fantastic. 
nicely creepy, um, good mystery, uh, an excellent villain, loved it. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, that was what I read this morning, and that checked off my last square for the Nostalgia Readathon. So I am now done with the Nostalgia Readathon. I blacked out the whole board. So that's done. <laughs> I finished that. Um, it was great fun. It was great fun. I will definitely do it again next year if they do it. Um, if they do it again next year, I'll definitely do it. So, yeah, it was great fun. I had a really good time. So, that's that. Um, I still got to film my video for Tuesday. I haven't done that yet, but I've been uh, tagged. Um, somebody told me that uh, they want me to do a particular book tag video. So, I figured what the hell. I'm going to do it. I don't have any better ideas. <laughs> um, what else? What else do I have to say? I don't know, man. I'm still mind blown over that chicken because it was so good. Oh my God. It was so good. It was so good. Um, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to be short and sweet this time. Um, anyway, cause I, <laughs> I gotta go at it. Um, yeah, so that, that was my day today. Oh, oh, no, I almost forgot. <laughs> How could I forget? We went to two used bookstores as well. We went to a place called the Happy Book, Sh Book Stacks. Happy Book Stacks. And then we went to the Grumpy Book Peddler. So two ends of the spectrum. Um, and uh, I got a couple of books at the Grumpy Book Peddler. The Happy Book Stacks is too new. They didn't have much of a selection yet, but I'll go back. I'll definitely go back and check them out again. Uh, they had some Choose Your Own Adventure books, which I almost bought just for the nostalgia, but I don't know where the hell I'd put them, so I didn't get them. Um, I did. I did get some uh, some uh, middle grade fantasy, um, so I'm looking forward to those. Um, I got a trilogy and then one standalone. Well, at least I think it's a standalone. I hope it's not the first in a trilogy because there I go buying books again. Um, anyway, um, we went to, like I said, the, the Happy Book Stacks is too new. They don't have a whole lot of selection yet. Um, they're getting there. They're getting there, though. And like I said, I will go back. The Grumpy Book Peddler, went, Jasmine and I went. And she referred to the place as the platonic ideal of a book of a used bookstore, and she's right. It was it was great. It was great. Um, so I'll definitely go back there as well. Um, get some more books. Um, so yeah, so that's done. Um, I've actually talked about everything I did today. Um, so I didn't talk about how we got lost on the way to the. Happy book stacks, but you know, we did that. Even using Google Maps, I still missed a turn and we got lost. So there you go. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go. Um, I got to edit. <laughs> Time to do that. Um, so yeah, going to go. Um, don't forget, I do um, reading for. Uh, uh, the. Getting out of, out of order. Um, videos on Tuesdays, reading sprints on Saturdays at 10 a.m. Uh, Central, and um, vlogs on Sundays. Um, check them out if you want to. Um, like and subscribe if you want to. And if you do, hit the little bell for notifications so that you get more of me. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thanks for being here. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Oh almost forgot. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Stay cool and remember, life's too short to read bad books. Bye.